we have an exclusive update. We brought you this first, a woman harassed and arrested inside of her own home in Alabama in front of a child, illegally so. The mayor has now come out against the arrest after our reporting. Here it is. So when y'all go over there and talk to him about his reason, do y'all ask him for his ID? Yeah, and he provides it. No, y'all do not. I be sitting right here watching. Nobody yeah. asking for I'm, his ID. I'm not arguing with you. I'm not arguing with you either. Am I giving you no? Know, I'm going to jail. Yes. If yeah. I don't provide my ID? Yes, ma'am. I'll, I'll but still, I'm not giving you my ID. Right, turn up for change, money back. This is ridiculous. Hey, turn up for change, money back. You're under arrest. I need to put my shoes on. I don't, I didn't ask. Uh, Wait a minute, don't you put your hands on hey, me like hold that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait. Not push my son. Ma, everyone, calm down, please, everybody, please calm down, please. Ma, everybody, calm down, please. Ma, you need my ID. I've already explained to you. Ma, just give him your ID. Ma, just give him your ID, Ma, please. Ma, please call. Ma, 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 Ma
<laughs> Mr. Mayor, put the picture back up. You see, Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, this would actually fly with many if it had not been for the fact that the son posed the question to the officer, can you show me the statute? And the officer clearly read that statutorily, she does not have to present identification at all. Additionally, the mayor would disagree with the accusation of racism. Here it is. When I learned about this incident last week, I offered to meet with Ms. Stallworth, but she declined. Ms. Stallworth has not filed a complaint against the police department, but her attorney alleges in his release that her arrest was racially motivated. We have reviewed body cam footage of the incident and see absolutely no evidence of racism. We have always worked hard in Andalusia to maintain great relationships among our diverse populations. What he's doing is attempting to inoculate the police department and the city from a discriminatory lawsuit because the why matters in the claim, the actual legal claim. And so what he's trying to say is, hey, I have a cop, he made a mistake, he's been disciplined, no racial discrimination, we're in open book. We tried to talk to Ms. Twyla. First of all, Mr. Mayor is wholly inappropriate. She has legal representation. Why are you contacting her? Have you contacted the legal counsel, which by the way is the proper protocol. According to attorneys, the incident began on February 23rd, 2024, when Ms. Stallworth called the police. She's the one that called the police, remember? Multiple times to complain about a neighbor, a white neighbor, who was playing his music too loudly. She got no response. Ms. Stallworth began setting off her car alarm in an effort to get the neighbor's attention to convince him to turn down the music. Kind of nuisance on nuisance situation happening. While the police failed to respond to Ms. Stallworth's complaints, they did, however, respond when the white neighbor called the police to complain about her car alarm. Frustrated because Officer Barton threatened to cite and arrest her for the car alarm, but did absolutely nothing to address her multiple allegations and complaints, Stallworth pointed out the disparity as Barton was returning to his car. Now, you got to remember what happened here. The officer is literally going back to his car. Once, once she suggested it was racially motivated, okay, Stallworth is black while the neighbor is, is white. At that point, Barton returned. He turned around to the point of where he's on her front porch and began demanding that she present identification, even though he had not made any such request previously. That's when Star Wars' 18 year old son starts recording the encounter on his phone. All right, now I want to clearly paint this picture. She's complaining about a neighbor. She's calling 911. Police don't come. She decides to go out, say, hey, neighbor, you see this car alarm? This is what you're doing to us in this community. Please cut it off. That neighbor calls the police. Police come. They respond to that neighbor's request to go and check on the neighbor, Miss Twyla Stallworth. And as the cop threatens to cite her, he walks away. She then tells the officer how different she's being treated than the neighbor. All oh, that really makes him upset. He turns around, comes to a front porch and demands her identification and then proceeds to arrest her because she posed a fact that you are treating me differently than you are treating my neighbor. There's more, all right? So here's Mayor Johnson refuting, here it is. In the video released by her attorney, Ms. Stallworth also claims that the police department has failed to respond to complaints she made against her neighbor. We also have reviewed internal evidence that shows that the police department has responded to those complaints. I have met with Andalusia Police Chief and other leaders in the department. 
We have agreed that the, that the entire department will receive additional training in constitutional law, the laws of Alabama, and the ordinances of the city of Andalusia, so that we will not have an incident like this to reoccur. Wait a minute, Mr. Mayor. I mean, for a police department to be so good and decent and sound and connected to community, you are demanding a whole lot of new training take place. Constitutional training, state of Alabama training, statutory training for city laws, what? I thought they were supposed to get that in the academy, sir. They are law enforcement officers. They are experts. They are to enforce the laws. How are they enforcing laws? And they haven't been trained on them. Well, the reality is they have been, well, at least to the degree to do their jobs. The reality is they do not care. And so you talking about training is just a way to appease the masses. Hopefully, they will think that's good enough for now. There's more. Attorney Daniel said of the incident, quote, never mind. The officer, Officer Barton, needlessly escalated the situation, forcefully entered Miss Stallworth's home and physically assaulted her over a noise complaint. Never mind that he arrested her for exercising her constitutional rights. And never mind that he misquoted a law that doesn't require a woman in her own home to present an ID. He was leaving. He was walking back to his car, ready to drive away right up until she called out his racism. Calling out racism is not illegal. Using your badge to intimidate a 40-year-old mother is, end quote. The Star Wars son even questioned Officer Barton about the statute. Here it is. Hey, dude, I wasn't attacking you, by the way. You know that, right? You put your hands on my son. You put your hands on my son. It's okay, my honesty. I understand that. You put your hands on my son. You good, bud. I said you I mean, that's a that's a natural reaction. You know what I mean? Hey, dude, before you take her away, before you take her away, why are you taking her away? Uh, she's right now, she's under arrest for failure to identify. So is this actually in Alabama? Identify, is, you is this actually in Alabama law. state law? That is not the law, that's against the law. Because I, I want to I wanna actually see this law in you play. You statute? Yeah. yeah, pull it up. 15-530. 15-530. Law enforcement official can request your name. Explanation of his actions. I don't see where it says anything about an ID. It says your name, address, and explanation of the address. She was, she failed to identify, but ID. I mean, the, it doesn't specifically, you know, say not, an not, ID. I know, but I'm not gonna argue with you either. All right. That makes, logically, that makes zero sense, dude. Officer said, I know, but I'm not gonna argue with you. See, he said, I know, but I'm not gonna argue with you. 18 year old says, makes no sense, dude. Um, young man, you did a remarkable job staying calm. I know that you were very fearful that something was, something bad was going to happen to your mother um, during that encounter. I heard it in your voice. Um, you did a remarkable job. I'm proud of you. I hope one day you become an attorney and you transform this system that has shown you its true colors. Now, here's the police chief, Paul Hudson, put him up. So the police chief on the left, Officer Barton. As of May 2021, on the right, buck stops with them, but they're all spinning. Violated this woman's rights, illegally arrested her inside of her own home, cited a law that doesn't even exist. And they think 40 hours of community training is going to resolve this. No, no, no. They got the right attorney on the case, Harry Daniels. Mr. Mayor, this is a hell of a thing. You run a major city, you know exactly what the nuances are. Are uh, when it comes to liability to discriminatory elements inside of city government. What say you to the mayor's response? Uh, the mayor should be unelected. Uh, <laughs> right. the, the police chief should be fired, and his officer as well. I, I don't. I don't believe in this idea that you know people need to be trained up. You trained on what? Doing what's right, not being racist. His entire interaction for that mayor to say that this is not because of racism. That his turnaround, his entire anger became became began because of that. This is absolutely ridiculous. I would love to see a freedom of information uh, request from their phone records, because I promise you, in this town of about 9,000 people that is 76% white, uh, I promise you, this is not the only case, especially when you look, it don't take a lot of digging. 2015, 2005, 2020, all of them had county executives and other people acting in racist manners in this, yep. in this community. So there's a pattern, of course, and we see how 
careless and nonchalant he was, not just about uh, locking this woman up, but abusing her in front of her son. And he knew he was being recorded the entire time. He knew it.